check this and check it out. Now, let me tell y'all this, man. The year just started with toxicity is in full effect. Now, let me tell y'all about our true toxic king, Future Vandross. Now, the thing that every man must learn in life is that the good guy shit just doesn't work, okay? The bad bitch that's at your school, on your block, at your job, she don't want no good guy with a great job and great intentions. Somebody who goes to church, doesn't curse, and actually, like, pay their taxes and actually respects her as a queen? Fuck that. She wants a hood nigga with no ambition that's gonna treat her like a bitch. Okay? Let me tell you this, man. I learned the hard way. I think every dude learns, bruh. The nice guy never fucking wins. The nice guy gets friend zoned, okay? And basically, the ain't shit nigga, he is fucking. All right? Now, future is all of that. You got to understand that future has ran through about like half the industry. They all got the same thing to say about him. He can't be faithful. Treat him like shit. He talk about them like objects. He makes fun of them on his goddamn Instagram story. Whether he's telling them to duck down low. He's saying they belong to the straights. He's saying that they don't got an AP. They don't belong to him. He pretty much talk about these hoes like they're goddamn cars. Okay? He switch them out. As the day goes by, he probably got a Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. All of that. Okay? Now, here's the thing with that. Right now, he's currently uh, conquering Lori Harvey. He's probably going to make her baby mama, I think, in about 90 days. But we have to realize that even though Future seems to be in love, we've seen this before with Ciara. And also, to keep it trill, man, listen, Future gave us one of the best lines, most toxic lines of this year already. Man, I ride for my niggas and I lie to my bitch. Okay, <laughs> God damn it, what a great line. Now, he's actually suing one of his baby mamas to be. Now, I forgot this part of the toxicity, okay? Women seem to be attracted to niggas with mad baby mamas. I don't know what it is, bro. I'm telling you the goddamn truth, bro. Niggas with mad baby mamas, they love, okay? And they all claim they don't like baby mama drama, but the nigga who's blowing their back out got three other baby mamas, never use a condom, and he nuts at everybody, okay? They love them type of niggas. Trust me, okay? Now, one of his baby mamas that he's not claiming, he got about like seven to eight. He's actually catching up with Chief Keith. But one of the baby mamas he's not claiming, he basically said, listen, he, I think he referenced her in a record one time, basically disregarding her and, and saying the baby might be his, but he don't give a fuck about the chick. Yeah, that's future. Like, he really toxic, okay? But the chick these days is either looking for child support or clout, or you know what they usually try to get these days both. Now, the chick been going on a bunch of, like, talk shows, and she's been, like, talking about the sex life with Future. And really, she's been talking about Future dick size, how he put in work, how he's, like, in the bed. And Future just told this bitch, at least legally, man, shut the fuck up, man, okay? So not only Future ain't giving her child support, not only ain't Future ain't trying to see the kid, not only ain't Future ain't trying to claim the kid, not only Future ain't even trying to talk to her, Future's still telling her legally, shut the fuck up and stop talking about me. I'm telling you, man, if there's a colder nigga than Future, man, please point me in that direction. Because this nigga don't give a fuck. So the chick name is Eliza Serafin. She claiming that Future ain't seen the baby once. She claiming that because she ain't having an abortion, she had the baby. Future ain't fuck with her since. And she claiming that Future won't take a goddamn DNA test because Future don't want no fucking kids by her. Okay? Now, again, Future's slaying community dick. So any chick he smashes might get pregnant, okay? But he ain't really trying to take care of all these motherfuckers, and it's not for lack of money. It's probably that some of these chicks are hoes. He ain't really trying to have kids with these hoes. He was just trying to smash. And you know him, I don't know, for whatever reason, like rich niggas just don't seem to pull out or fucking use condoms. I don't know what it is. I don't know, okay? However, he's told her legally to shut up. He submitted a request via his lawyers to put a gag order on her that she can't talk about him, his situations. And I got to say, man, kudos to Future. Shit, I ain't gonna lie, man. For all the L's that niggas taking family court with child support and everything else, finally Future out here slanging around his weight legally that he could definitely make sure that people ain't slandering his name. Okay, so I ain't mad at it. But anyway, he got a gag order on this chick. Toxic continues. I like it. What's the problem? Get a comment. What you guys like? And in a serious note, I actually do care. You know, there's kids and there's families. And you know, there's a lot of people affected by futures. Man, fuck all that, man. It's your boy Jackie Demix, man. Get in the comment box. The toxicity continues.